Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Oh yes, it's gonna be a good one. I feel it in my bones. Though that could be rickets. I've not had much vitamin D recently because lockdown life do be that way. So today I got out the wrong side of the bed or the right side of the bed. I'm not really sure because I sleep next to a wall, so there's only really one way out. And I thought, you know, it'll be fun. Let's go find some cursed stuff for Assetto Corsa. Now, what do I mean by cursed mods exactly? If you're familiar with Assetto Corsa, you'll know there's an absolute ton of amazing mods that drive really well, awesome circuits, amazing cars, liveries, stuff like that. In fact, you can pretty much pick a time period and car and go, that one please and you can probably find it to drive which is amazing but on the other hand you have people who see all that hard work it takes to make a crazy car like that and go nah and then they end up producing something a little bit a little bit different i think it's fair to say just just a wee bit so i've compiled a couple of these mods together and testing them out please know that this is in no way an exhaustive list there are an absolute ton of mods like this out there but these are the ones that I can find links for because they're, they're almost like the sim racing black market. Hey, do you know where I get some of that, uh, some of that good shit? <laughs> what? So I made my way into the sim racing dark web to try and find some of these mods for you guys because they aren't, a lot of them aren't just available to go and get. You have to ask the right people. You have to tickle the right testicles. Luckily, I'm a very good testicle tickler. So I've got a good couple of them here and I guess we're going to just try them out. I'll say now, by the way, this video is likely to be demonetized because of a certain gachi mod. So if you do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate you just tapping that like button. You can subscribe too if you want. Uh, we're on the way to 700k subscribers, so yeah, if you want to subscribe, then we'll be closer. Yeah! So first up, we have this. <laughs> this is the safety car. It is a Halo on wheels made by one of my favourite creators of both actually really good mods and terrible mods, Gary Patterson. So basically this safety car has, I think it's 21 horsepower, but weighs 25 kilograms. So a little go-kart, but it does have three wheels as you're seeing here so i'm interested to see how it handles scuba probably not very well <laughs> and this guy this guy is ready look how ready he is to be safe <laughs> let's go be safe in the safety car and already you're seeing mild problems <laughs> with that nah, get over get over man <laughs> Oh, it's so safe. I've never felt safer in my life. So you know those guys who race sidecars, right? This, I think, is the next logical career progression for them. This is like the next bit. Oh, it doesn't really do anything. It's not too bad in the straight line. It does sort of steer without you steering it, though. Oh, I've, I've just, I've taken far too much speed. <laughs> it's got legs in a straight line, though. And arms. The blip on the downshift. There you go. Turn her in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wonder if we can get a time out of this thing. Let's find out. I've got to at least give it one go, I guess. Got to slow right. The brakes are actually really good. The brakes are the best part of this. And it might look like I'm completely missing the apex. That's because one, I am. And two, it's because if I steer more, you, you tripod. You just go woof, doing our best top version impression here. I want to see Dory Dory run one of these things, man. And tell me how his 86 is better. Easy. Oh god. Turn her in. Time attack specialist. I challenge you to beat this arrow. This, does this count as sort of movable arrow? Is that allowed? <laughs> Easy. Ah oh, no! Come on. Get over. Get over. Not actually over, but into the corner. Oh my god. Here we go then. Last corner. Come on. Ah no! Turn! Turn! <laughs> Give me everything you got, man! There you go, we're back! We're back on the circuit! Watch out for the <laughs> And the time is... I don't know, where's the time? A 140.3 there! A good start! You guys obviously know Crocs and just how objectively cool they are. Um, have you ever wondered what would happen if you put an engine in one and gave it spinners? Of course you have. It will look a little something like this. <laughs> so this is a croc with about 320 horsepower and it's actually a drift car or is there a drift croc so um i guess we're gonna see if we can get the old croc sideways <laughs> so let's go croc out the pit lane can we can we drift it uh oh 
Uh oh. <laughs> I'm drifting a croc in a set of Corsa. It's definitely faster than the safety car though, which is good. Definitely got the wrong rim for this, but... Why is this thing so easy to drift? <laughs> I mean, look how glorious does this thing look going around the fucking flames? Oh god! I've crashed my croc! Easy, easy! Mate Alexi, I'm coming for you, man. I am the best YouTube drift content, don't at me! <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at this absolute pro driver. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's up? Oh, God! Ah, oh, it's running out! <laughs> okay. Time attack. That was still quicker than the safety car. Why am I tryharding in a feckin' croc, man? What has my life become? Oh, we know what it's become. Taking fur, get early for traction. You don't you don't get that sort of that performance with other other brands of flip flops. <laughs> this is uh, actually handles fairly well. I think it's basically just like a Sylvia underneath, but don't tell anyone. It's like a hundred mile an hour down the back straight in a fucking shoe. Don't drift too much. Drift a lot. And across the line, it's a 108. What a machine. What a machine, man. What a machine. Look at that shit. The, <laughs> the victory burnout. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm so in love. Now, I know it's hard to believe, but it gets better. We've barely scratched the surface of the depravity of some of these modders. Next up is a car called the Formula One which by its own explanation requires a government mandated fishing license to drive which can often be found in boxes of cereal and at low speeds the driving experience is akin to a rodeo you must put the power down without wheeling at a near 90 degree angle <laughs> so here it is it's just a box with aero on it which as you guys know i feel very very passionately about boxes and i'm interested to see what it means by not really working properly. So let's jump in. Oh no, it's K it's H pattern. Good to know. Oh, so, oh god, fuck! I'm understanding. Now, if you look at the power graph of this thing, it's basically just you fuck. So it's fine now. Put your foot down, and then suddenly it's a lot of power. All oh, the rockets are on, and it actually handles pretty well, apart from the fact that it has too much power this might be a contender for our fastest car so far i think i think it's going to be quite easy our fastest car and probably the safest let's gun it down the straight yo all right this the gym the time attack special this one let's see how we do here we go in there you go very nice oh get there somewhere the miss shift This is actually really fast. It's got to be careful on corner exit, otherwise you wheelie. Is it 108 to beat? I think we're going to smash that. Oh, I've gone wide on the hairpin. What a pleb. Is it more flames than the fucking McLaren and iRacing? It's crazy. In you go, in you go, in you go. Come on. <laughs> what? A 49 second lap. Is, that is ridiculous. We found the new goat, ladies and gentlemen. F1 move over. Formula Wonk is my best friend now. Sometimes I wonder what goes through someone's mind when they go, you know what, that's going to make a good Assetto Corsa mod, because this next one, well, see if you can guess what it is. See if you can guess what it is. Any idea? No? How about now? Still no? Let me enlighten you. It's a goddamn elephant! And the best thing about this is that it's basically a Formula 1 car on weird wheels, complete with front wing on the trunk there. So it should be fast. Fast elephant. So here's your driver's perspective. Oh, it's, it's an F1 car. It's an F1 car. <laughs> I can't see much. 
And uh, if I didn't know that was a trunk, I would probably suggest it might be someone else. I don't know. Maybe it's a good noise, though. I do prefer this sort of sound of elephant. <laughs> there it goes! Man. Nature is healing. It's great to see. Oh, God. Have <laughs> you ever seen such majestic shit as this? I don't think so, man. <laughs> We're on to a winner. Oh, it's got a real wing! I didn't even know it was in the, on, the, on the top there! Oh, that's fantastic. Right, let's try and put a lap together with this elephant. Very important. Here we go. Oh, it's fast. Man's looking to graze. He's in a rush. Can't see the apex very well, to be honest. Oh, save me, downforce. Go, go, go! Let the elephant sing down the street. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 41.9 in the elephant. It's fast. <laughs> Thank you, a set of Corsa modders. Extremely cool. Now, you might be thinking, Jimmy, how can I get more curse than that? Well, I saved the best, or rather, the worst, until last. <laughs> and the description for this uh, car is that it's a shit post taken taken way too far. I say not far enough. Now, some of you are gonna know what this is already. <laughs> a very unique vehicle in a set of Corsa. For a couple of reasons, you can probably see what the first one is at the moment. There it is. In all its glory. <laughs> and I think it has one of the best engine sounds in sim racing. You ready? <laughs> oh, let's drive it. Let's go. Wait, how do I go? Oh, it's H pattern. Why is it eight? Of course, of course it's H pattern. Oh my god! I don't. I don't. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Why am I here in Turin? <laughs> right, hot lap time. Oh god! Don't spin. No. Ah. <laughs> It's the fucking not the slaps, man. <laughs> oh god, this this thing this thing handles terribly, but luckily for us, there is another version with better handling. <laughs> this time we have the muscle roller <laughs> instead. Hopefully it'll handle better. Why am I saying this about this fuck what is this shit, man? What is my life? So I, I think this is like the driver's eye view. Right, are you ready? Oh, it's a it's a sports car compared to the other one. It's a sports car. <laughs> the goddamn slaps! What? <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate, man. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a fast lap. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Come on now. Easy on the throttle. Don't want too many slaps, man. <laughs> no! Right, this is the one. Come on. All my driving experience, my entire career, has come to this moment. I have no idea how I feel about that. It be what it be. <laughs> There you go, that's better. Oh, God! <laughs> the slaps! That was still a 54-0 in the muscle roller. The boy's just out here. They're just enjoying each other's company, that's all it is. Oh, God, that was cursed. Ah! Is this an okay view? Am I allowed to show this? I don't even know. So yeah, guys, they were some of the most cursed mods I could find for a set of Corsa. Some more cursed than others, I think it's fair to say. And it's by no means an exhaustive list, but if you have any suggestions for maybe a second cursing video, feel free, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram, DM me, because it's important to chronicle both sides of sim racing history. <laughs> 
get side in the pad. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to make. Where I have links of these mods that I can share, I'll whack them in the description for you to check out so you can go and curse yourself in your own time. And if you did enjoy the video at any point, I'd appreciate it. Just tapping that like button. You can subscribe as well if you want. And as always, a big thank you to my patrons and sponsors for allowing me to curse 655,000 people because that is truly a blessing. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.